Hi, uh, magandang ano na ba? Tanghali po sa ating region sa rin sa Pilipinas. So, once again, ito meron naman po tayong bagong episode natin ng uh, One Life uh, Sabado Live. So, tonight's uh, tonight pa. <laughs> Today's topic is all about essential principles for improving relationships. So, ito pa rin is part pa rin ng ating New Year's special. So, tawag dito, uh, na-start natin yung new year dun sa topic natin, like the other week, all about, um, less is more, less is more, diba, uh, the minimalist approach. So, kung paano natin mas magandang, or magandang simulan yung taon natin, not just by uh, doing new year's resolutions na parang, Uh, hindi naman natin alam if we can or cannot uh, do it at the end of the year but yung proposal na yun is more of um, what do you call this more of a long term solution mm-hmm. diba uh, parang guiding towards a much better and Ano na nagawa mo? Sorry. Ang gulo mo, ha? Uh, a much better version of ourselves. Tama. And hi, again, magpapakilala po muna kami. <laughs> I am Coach Foy, and this is Coach Sheena. We are the in, in-house uh, life coaches of One Life Group. Yan, yun yung ginagawa ko lang po. Yan. Um, this is... Kasi, ang idea ko, and uh, we created a vision for 2021. Ano yung create namin na vision for 2021? We created 2021. That 2021 mm-hmm. is gonna be a year focused on uh, relationships. Bakit namin nasabi yun? Kasi majority nga ng mga uh, problema. problema ng tao is relational. At lalo pa natin tong nalaman nung nag-pandemic, nung 2020. Bakit? Kasi nagkaroon tayo ng time sa pamilya natin, nagkaroon ng mas maraming away, mas maraming divorce, mas maraming uh, problema. Uh, hindi naman yung pandemic minsan talaga yung problema natin. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Bakit tayo lagi nag-away? Kasi kulang yung pondo natin. Bakit tayo naging kulang yung pondo natin sa bahay? Ba't tayo nakapag-save? Lagi tayong merong kaakibat na uh, dahilan na somewhat relational. Okay? Mm-hmm. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is we are going to try to build meaningful relationships 2021. Okay? So yun. So essential principles of improving relationship. Pag sinabi ang principles, ano yun? Pag sinabi ko sa principles, parang ano eh, parang a must do. Mm-hmm. Or parang it is fact-based. Mm-hmm. and um for strict compliance na kailangan kailangan talaga ako sa mm-hmm. sa mga essential di ba mahalaga mm-hmm. na principles sige magsimula na tayo sige so ang unang una daw parang principles of relationship uh, relationship health and success is mm-hmm. respect bakit mm-hmm. bakit respect Bakit sa palagay mo respect? Ang number one sa essential principles. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman to by number, pero yun lang yung inuna ko. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero, yun nga, respect daw. Bakit kaya? Well, kasi sa atin, di ba, I mean, nadidiscuss natin before yung strong foundation of seven pillars. Uh, yung seven pillars. So, one of those pillars is yung honor, honor or yung respect. So, um, importante for somebody who is in a relationship, syempre hindi lang naman ito for boyfriend, girlfriends, in- applicable din naman ito sa for sa lahat, sa uh, employee, employer, diba? mm-hmm. sa mother, father, or ay, oh, tama, ay, oh, yung mag-asawa, yung um, magkapatid, mag-ama, mag-ina, mag-pinsan, mm-hmm. magkatrabaho, di ba? Lahat naman yun is na-apply. Kasi kapag wala kasi yun, yung respect or yung honor with uh, towards somebody, 
para bang you really couldn't uh, function really. Kasi para bang nandudun lagi yung doubt, nandudun lagi yung judgment sa bawat decision, sa bawat kilos ng isang tao na yon. So, how could you possibly be working with somebody who you, you don't respect or somebody who doesn't respect, respect you? Uh, naiintindihan ko yun. Pero ano, para sa akin kasi, without mutual mm-hmm. respect, Mm-hmm. A relationship is doomed for failure. Bakit? Kasi ganito yun. Dapat mutual. Pareho diba? dapat. Pareho dapat. Kasi a relationship is like a two-way street. street. Okay? Walang relationship na magtatagal na isa lang ang nagtatrabaho. Mm-hmm. Walang relationship na nagtatagal na isa lang ang... yeah. Walang relationship na nagtatagal at nagsistay na one way lang. Okay? So, it may last many, many years, but then again, it's gonna be doomed for failure. So, ganun din pagdating sa respect. So, kailangan nire-respeto mo ako at nire-respeto kita. So, ganito kasi tayo eh. Um, ang nangyayari kasi is, kailangan respetuhin ng anak ang magulang, kailangan respetuhin ng asawang babae ang asawang lalaki, kailangan respetuhin ng bata ang nakakatanda. So, tanggalin natin lahat yon tanggalin natin yung mga premise na yun. Mm-hmm. Diba? Dapat, tayong lahat is maggalangan at magrespetuhan. Okay? Yeah. It has to be mutual. And again, respect is not something that you can uh, impose or you can uh, demand. Mm-hmm. Diba? It's not something like that. Respect is earned. And meron tayong mga tinatawag na prerequisites of respect. Para sa akin, hindi na prerequisite ng trust ha? kasi meron akong term. So, para sa akin, yung prerequisite ng respect is I will respect you if um, you show unconditional positive regard. Mm-hmm. I will never respect somebody who's judgmental of other people. Okay. ba diba? I could never respect somebody na uh, hindi ako in honor. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, it begets respect. So, you treat me the way I treat you. Once you cross uh, the certain boundaries, di ba? Meron tayong mga boundaries eh, sa buhay natin. So, once you cross that boundaries that you are being disrespected, say stop. Teka lang. I will not engage in this disrespectful conversation. Yeah. Alright? If, if, you find it na ikaw ay handa ka nang makapag-engage sa isang respectful, adult, mature conversation sure. sa akin, that's the time that I will begin talking to you mm-hmm. and we will talk like adults. Yun. Di ba? So, kasi kapag ka walang paggalang sa'yo or hindi ka nire-respeto nung uh, pag hindi ka nire-respeto nung uh, kausap mo, nung kasama mo, nung korelasyon mo, mm-hmm. di ba? Lagi na lang ganun. And eventually, yun din yung matitingin mo sa sarili mo eh. Diba? Eventually, you will end up not respecting yourself and feeling low and feeling inferior sa lahat ng parte ng buhay mo. Okay? And first, you've got to have that self-respect first. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Bakit kailangan una yung self-respect, Coach? Bakit kailangan? Mauna yun. Yun nga eh, um, tulad din nung sinabi ko rin before, yung discussion ko about um, self-love. Diba? You need to establish a really strong relationship with yourself that includes self-respect. Kasi mm-hmm. if, how would you expect uh, somebody else to respect you? Kung ikaw din mismo, you don't respect yourself. Like, kung, kung other people step beyond your your boundaries, like parang binibelittle ka na or or na hindi na maganda sinasabing ganun. meron ng sinasabing hindi maganda against you or tungkol sa iyo na alam mo naman na hindi naman totoo but then you allow it to happen so how how could how could you expect other people to do that as well so exactly and the way you see yourself and the way you treat yourself 
mm-hmm. is the way other people will see you and will treat you. Yeah. Lagi niyo tatandaan yun. It all begins with yourself. Okay? So, next is, may questions ba sa respect? Wala, di ba? So, yun. <laughs> okay. So, ang um, number two is, again, ag- sorry, if you are watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay. And this video will be available in my YouTube channel, mm-hmm. Koi Delara, and all the other pages that we're gonna have. So, next is adapt. So, adaptability, flexibility, and something like those. Mm-hmm. Ano ba yan? But bakit importante yung coaching? Um, adopt. Mm, mag-adapt. No. Mag-adapt. Mm, like, sa relationship. Yeah, like being flexible mm-hmm. or adjustment, di ba? Kasi kailangan natin, there are certain um, mga scenarios or situation we're in. Alam naman natin na mayroon at merong mangyayari that there's gonna be disagreement. Diba? On mm-hmm. certain decision that you need to make or certain situation. And somehow, you need to compromise. You need to negotiate um, the differences that you have. You need to adopt. You need to adjust accordingly. Yan. Tama. So, kasi, sabi ko nga, the map is not the territory. Yeah. Diba? So the map is not the territory. Your map is the not, not one, not the one true map. All right. Mm-hmm. So lahat tayo is kailangan may period of adjustment, compromise, and such. Bakit? Kasi kung wala yan, feeling ko yan nagsimula lahat ng gere, eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Which we can always uh, understand each mm-hmm. other or give the world is a very very big place mm-hmm. that could be shared harmoniously. And we all can cohabitate with uh, each other, coexist, mm-hmm. di ba? Uh, if only we would learn to adjust uh, and respond well to the needs of others. Kasi nga, iba-iba tayo ng pangangailangan, iba-iba tayo ng uh, iniisip, iba-iba mm-hmm. tayo ng sitwasyon sa buhay, di ba? Mm-hmm. And in the same way, if you are willing to open yourself for change and be flexible you also grow mm-hmm. diba? and you grow together because if you don't grow together essentially you will grow apart grow apart and kapag ka na grow apart kayo one person would outgrow another person mm-hmm. right this relationship is doomed for failure not unless you learn to adapt mga yeah. perks niya, yung paghilik niya, yung pagtalak niya, <laughs> di ba? Uh-huh. So, eventually, you would learn to adapt. But, lagi naman ako may but. Mm-hmm. Hindi pala, pinapractice ko na palang wag mag-but. Uh-huh. And, and, alright, and, kailangan, doon sa, uh, doon sa process natin ng pag a adapt alright? Again, this is a two-way. Diba? Yeah. Kahit na ako, mag-adapt ako na mag-adapt sa'yo. Mm-hmm. O hindi ka mag-adapt na mag-adapt sa'kin, eventually, ako lang yung mag-grow. Okay. Diba? Kasi ako lang yung willing na mag-embrace ng change. Eh. Ako lang yung be- willing makipag-compromise. Eh. So again, if you don't grow together, you grow apart. Alright? So be flexible and adapt to uh, who, whatever relationship that you have. Mm-hmm. And I promise you, diba? I promise you, para lang yung bago ka sa trabaho. Makikipag-adjust ka na naman sa mga bagong ka-opisina. Ganyan, you have to adapt. Right. Diba? So, uh, you need to adjust, especially uh, with yung isang tao or yung, yung isang party. Like, syempre, um, there are certain responsibilities din mm-hmm. yung tao outside of that relationship. Right. Diba? Like, for example, kayo mag-asawa and pareho kayo nagtatrabaho or pareho kayong you have a career on your own, mm-hmm. di ba? You need to adjust that that person also has other responsibilities other than outs- you. Other than you. Mm-hmm. So, you really cannot um like totally 100% demand uh, for that particular person. Like, like totally 100% of your time, like all the time. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, basically, mm-hmm. it's it's all about being responsible for your oneself, then, de ba? Mm-hmm. So again, adaptation is all about compromising, mm-hmm. de ba? Compromising, setting boundaries, and uh, other stuff. Relationship, sabi ko mm-hmm. nga sa kanila, it's not about keeping pe- keeping people out. It's about like keeping yourself in. And diba? at the same time, let's not um. Ano yan, let let's not take scores. I mean, wag right. tayong maggawa ng scorecard like bilang, when it comes bilangan. to to compromise and adapt. Na parang nung last time ako ganito yung ganito yung ginawa ko eh, dapat ikaw naman, something like that. Kasi kapag if we keep scores Mm-mm. sa mga adjustment na ginagawa natin, it it's unhealthy. Lalo, lalo na kasi ang isang relationship, isang ano yan eh, parang it's a cooperation. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, hindi siya dapat maging competition. Yeah. Diba? Sino yung mas mabait, sino yung mas nag-adjust, sino yung mas nagbigay ng pera, mga ganun. Sino yung mas nagmamahal, mga ganun. Oo. Uh, yeah. So, again, we are to respect and adapt mm-hmm. uh, our partners and our relationships for more mature and meaningful relationships. Number three, three. understand. Ayan. Sabi nga nila, children, children argue and debate. Maturity is to understand. So, yun lang. Basic I yan. That, I think that's self-explanatory. Mm-hmm. Diba? The more you understand um, somebody, the more na mas nag-i-improve your relationship mo. Eh. Tama. The more you listen, diba? The mm-hmm. more you understand, Tama. mas nag-i-improve. Kasi, yun. Doon papasok yun, malalaman mo kung paano ka makapag-adapt, makapag-adjust, di ba? If you mm-hmm. listen and you understand. Right. And uh, we always have to listen to understand and not listen to, to respond. response. Right? Mm-hmm. Meron kasi sa ating, hindi pa tapos yung sinasabi, is... May rebuttal na ka. Nagko-compose na ng... <laughs> Nagko-compose na ng ano, sagot. iniisip, mm-hmm. ng sagot sa utak niya, di ba? So, in essence... Hindi niyo na intindihan niyo sinasabi sa inyo kasi ang iniintindi niyo kung paano niyo sasagutin. Mm-hmm. So hindi naman tayo dapat ganoon. So we always have to understand so that we can communicate properly. Plus, not all we are imperfect communicators. I am an imperfect communicator, coach Sheena is an imperfect communicator. So in essence, merong mawawala diyan. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Somewhere along the line merong mawawalang information dyan. Mm-hmm. And um, if we don't listen attentively or we don't listen to understand, makakapagbigay tayo ng mga response na hindi rin na akma doon sa tournament. Ending up, nagkakaroon tayo ng misunderstanding at miscommunication. Alright? So, yun. Next is connect. Sabi ko nga, at all times, we always have a choice whether to uh, connect or uh, disconnect with other uh, people. Okay? So, um, what is happening is, at all times, majority of the time, we should choose uh, connection over disconnection. Why? Because if we choose uh, connection, we generally give that relationship a chance to grow and a chance to improve. Okay? So, yun lang. You always have to choose connection and disconnection and try to fix it along the way. Next is dialogue. Right? Listen to hear and understand people instead of listening to respond. Parang din yung yung sa understand kanina. So, Pag sinabing dialogue, it's a conversation, a two-way conversation or communication between parties. So, the other, this is an information and then there's the medium in reaches the receiver and then gives a feedback. So, communication wouldn't be communication without a feedback. So, and dialogue two-way yan. And both parties should work to listen and to understand. Okay? Para magkaroon ng magandang pag-uusap sa atin. 
So pag nagkaroon kayo ng magandang pag-uusap na ganito pala ako, ganito talaga yung ugali ko, pero pipilitin kong magbago, I'll try to be better. And uh, in this way, ganito yung uh, gusto kong mangyari, sana ganito rin yung i-adjust mo, or sana uh, ito rin yung mga bagay na dapat natin baguhin, or ito yung mga bagay na sana pagkasunduan natin, di ba? Nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, acceptance, di ba? Accept other people as you'd have them accept you. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na uh, sana tanggapin na lang ako o kaya sana kung ano na lang ako, ganun na lang yung gawin nila. Kasi tayo din naman. ba? Diba? We always say na sana ganun na lang siya. But, through unconditional acceptance, no matter what the flaws are, no matter uh, the, what the, the shortcomings were, di ba? Um, what is happening is we should like give unconditional acceptance because it is the foundation of a very healthy relationship. Okay. Pag sinabing unconditional acceptance, it doesn't mean that you just need to accept and accept and and uh, go on with it to the extent na naabuso ka na. No. Unconditional acceptance is two-way. Alright? But first, you've got to be grounded to the truth of who you are. So you've got to accept yourself first before you expect others to accept you as well. All right, so that is one uh, principle of improving relationships. Try to be more accepting of other people, right? You have to uh, be for other people what you want other people to be for you, okay? So yeah, unconditional acceptance. Next is, kapag kaalam ninyo na yung mga flaws ninyo, accepted mo na yung mga flaws ninyo, di ba? Um, this creates a certain kind of humility uh, with each and every one of us. So, pag sinabi ka bang humble or humility, ano ba yan? Sinabi mo kayo sa humility or humble, parang you tend to alam mo kung when uh, kung kailan ka dapat uh, aside from mag-adjust ka to accept or acknowledge anything that you've done wrong. That is right. That is right. And humility is also not thinking uh, less of yourself. It is mm-hmm. thinking of yourself less. Na merong tao na mas magaling sa'yo, na meron kang mga hindi pa alam, na meron kang room for improvement na mayroon tao na pwedeng magturo sa iyo ng tamang gawin, di ba? So humility is accepting kung ano yung mga kakulangan mo, pagkukulang mo at pagkakamali mo, mm-hmm. right? And tandaan niyo, honesty and humility is magnetic. Mm-hmm. So once people see that you're honest about your flaws and you're grounded but gusto mong matuto and improve yourself, you're going to be a magnet to uh, the same kind of people na gustong gusto ring magbago or gustong gusto ring i-improve yung sarili nila. Right? So again, um, we all need to keep our feet on the ground. Diba? And try to adapt, learn the new things, uh, and accept our flaws. And if you want to improve them, you can always, always improve them and be better versions of yourselves. All right? Next is, eto, ito yung pinakamahalagi para sa akin. Manage expectations. Dahil kaya lang naman tayo nasa-stress dahil hindi natin na-manage yung ating expectations. Well, alright. Kaya tayo nadi-disappoint, di ba? Yung disappointment kasi is galing doon sa uh, um, not setting proper expectations for ourselves. Alright? Um, manage your expectations and then minimize your disappointments. Okay? So, um, lahat tayo, there will come a, a point na uh, nagkakaroon na tayo ng adaptability. nag adjust na tayo sa mga kakayanan at uh, mga kaya at hindi kaya ang gawin ng partner sa atin. Right? It doesn't, ex- it doesn't mean na kapag ka expect mo na sa partner mo or kapag in-expect na ng partner mo na ganun nga yung kakayanan mo, is hindi ka na magsa-strive to grow with yourself. Kasi again, you need to grow. ba? Diba? Because if you're not growing, you're decaying. Decaying. Right. So, kapag ka ganun, is we have to set 
goals as well and you have to set goals with yourselves and you have to manage expectations then from yourselves right don't be too harsh on yourselves don't be too harsh on your partner live your life to the fullest dahil maikli lang ang buhay natin lahat but you always have to manage expectations to uh, lessen your disappointments in life diba masaya naman ang buhay eh diba kahit na medyo mahirap masaya naman ang buhay diba sabi nga ng isang uh, kaibigan natin si uh, Kuya Mart diba rock and roll lang diba <laughs> so lagi lang yung ganyan rock and roll okay so yun um, just manage expectations Next is, respond accordingly. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Kasi minsan, tayo, di ba, bilang tao, is, hindi natin alam kung ano yung tone natin. Hindi naman tayo galit, pero galit natin, pagalit natin yung sasabi, or, uh, hindi naman tayo talaga, uh, hindi naman talaga yun yung gusto nating sabihin, pero iba yung sasabi natin, kasi minsan hindi tayo nagsasalita. Nang maayos. Hindi tayo nagre-respond accordingly. Because, nauunahan tayo ng ating mga emosyon. Alright? So, once you master your emotions, you revolutionize your social skills. Bakit yun? Kasi you know how to carry yourself already. You know how to uh, control your feelings. And how do you control your feelings and emotions? By controlling your mind. Kaya sabi ko nga sa inyo, sinong may ari ng thoughts ninyo. Kayo. So, don't let your thoughts own you. Alright? So, yun. Next and uh, the last is trust. Trust. Okay. So, yun nga. Bakit essential principles for improving relationships ang trust? Trust. Trust coaching. Kasi, di ba, Lagi natin sinasabi, ang trust parang chocolate. Ngayon ko lang narinig yung trust na parang chocolate. Oh. Pag nasira na, mahirap na ayusin. Mm-hmm. Pag natunaw na. Hindi mm-hmm. okay. kaya ang ipagbikit. Pag ang... Um... Kantayin eh. <laughs> pwede namang ano, pwede namang pinggan. <laughs> Diba? O, yun nga. Mm. Parang kapag natunaw na, mahirap mo na siyang ibalik na sa, sa original form. na hugis. Tama. Diba? So, yun. So, sabi nga nila, responsibility, decisiveness, consistency, and strength ang ating kailangan. But again, I've got, or we have got prerequisites of trust. Ano mm. ba yun, Coach Sheen? Uh, unconditional positive regard. Which is unconditional acceptance na mm. kanina ay sinabi ko na sa atin. Empathy. Oh, empathy. I would never have trust to somebody who cannot, cannot picture. It's not that. Eh. Can be related, you know, but who cannot put himself in my shoe, mm-hmm. right? It's like everybody. Everybody is like telling me, "Oh, kawawa ka naman," or something like that. But no, mm-hmm. it doesn't be the case. You need to understand me. You need to try to understand a person. While you imagine yourself being in his or her shoes. Situation. Yun yung empathy. Hindi diba? yung hindi yung naawa ka. Oo, oh, oh. yung, yung iba sympathy. Ang sympathy. Iba ang hmm. empathy. Naawa ka, something like that. Hmm. My heart goes with you. Ganyan, ganyan. No. Diba? So, empathy is something uh, is that's really important kasi they try, they make an effort to connect. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi you can yeah. never give empathy without an effort to connect to that person. I know where you're coming from. Exactly. Diba? Uh, kasi it's it's one of the prerequisites of trust. Because how can I trust somebody na just telling me things na basta may masabi lang. Mm-hmm. Diba? Basta may masabi lang or pretending na alam niya yung nangyayari pero hindi naman. Mm-hmm. Diba? It's like, try to be on my shoe. Like, okay ka lang. Okay ka lang. Huwag ka mag-alala. Magiging okay din yan. Mm-hmm. Hindi nga eh. <laughs> Hindi nga okay. ba? Diba? Hindi nga okay diba? eh. ba? Diba? So, wag mong ipilit na okay. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? So, yun. It's one of the best, best, best prerequisites of trust. Alright? Empathy. Next is, so, unconditional acceptance. Empathy. empathy 
Time. Mm-mm, time. Time. Diba? Time. This is... Because time is one of our best resources. Sabi nga doon sa librong Purpose Driven Life, if somebody gives you his or her time, they're giving you a portion of your life that you could never take back. Okay? So, ang nangyayari is, if you are uh, spending time with me or or giving me a portion of your time, diba? I will greatly appreciate it. Kasi napakamahalagang resource ng mga tao yun. So, yun. So, if I will trust you enough na itong tao na to, uh, binigyan ako ng oras, siguro uh, dapat ko rin siyang pagkatiwalaan kasi binigyan niya ako ng oras niya. Okay? Next is, so, that's unconditional acceptance, ulitin ko, empathy, time, and um, congruence. Bakit naging apat? Okay, congruence. Nilagyan mo ng time. Nilagyan ko ng time. Ayan, sige. Lima na pala ngayon. So, meron mm-hmm. pang consistency. Di ba? So, yan. So, yung congruence naman is kung ano yung sinasabi ko. Di ba? Yun din yung dapat nakikita nyo sa ginagawa ko. So, tandaan niyo even if, even sa buhay namin araw-araw. So, alam ni Coach Yin yan na kung ano yung sinasabi ko, yun din yung ginagawa ko. Like, yeah. kung ano yung tinatanong ko sa inyo, halimbawa, meron akong nagawang mali. Di ba? Meron akong nagawang hindi tama, hindi maganda, tapos iniisip ko kung anong nangyari, sino may kasalanan, gano'n. Ang tatanong naman niya sa akin, yung lagi kong tinatanong, like, so what is the role that you played in the, in the current, current situation, situation of your life right, right now? That's so funny. But then again, nare-realize ko, so ina-apply ko yun sa buhay ko. So gano'n din, congruence, di ba? How can you trust somebody na iba yung sinasabi sa ginagawa niya? How can you trust somebody na iba yung uh, panlabas niya sa sinasabi sa saan? Iba yung sinasabi sa kinikilos. Oo, iba yung sinasabi sa kinikilos niya. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, para kang halimbawa, merong financial advisor, tapos uh, yung financial advisor na yun, eh, wala. Pag tinanong mo, magkano na, yung, magkano na yung ipon mo? Wala pa. Nagsistart pa lang ako. O kaya, ano, mabalitaan mo yung financial advisor na yun. Maraming utang, sugarol, mga ganyan. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, magtitiwala ba kayo dun? ba diba, hindi? Hindi po ako financial advisor at ever akong mag-offer sa inyo. No? <laughs> so, ba diba, magtitiwala ba kayo sa mga ganon? So, that's about congruency. Yeah. ba diba? So, yun. So, ayun nga, if kapag um, humingi ka rin ng apology mm-hmm. sa isang tao, Uh-oh. you need to be sincere with that apology. Not just because yun ang alam mong gustong marinig ng ibang tao. Mm-hmm. But also, you need to be sincere with that apology as well. Exactly. Kasi yung apologies naman, kasi ganito yan eh, even if you're not verbally apologizing, like saying sorry, pero nakitaan ka na nagsisisi ka, nagbabago ka talaga, mm-hmm. ba? Diba? May ginagawa kang efforts to make up for it kahit may naman hindi hindi sa'yo. ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. I think that's apology enough. That yeah. that apology is enough. That, diba? that is way much better than words. Exactly. Kasi sabi nga nila, kung ang sorry, eh, alam mo yun, nakapag-resolve ng lahat ng problema, and then, mm-hmm. hindi mo lang kailangan ng police. Yeah, so sabi ko, <laughs> tama, actually. Diba? So, yun nga, yeah. diba? So, uh, yun ang ginagawa natin. So, again, for you, for you to gain trust, you need congruence. Okay? We don't need empty words. Yeah, words are not enough. Mm. Okay, show it through your actions and do it. Next nga, is, oh, go ahead, yun. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, meron nga mm. yun eh, yung, yung tatlo. For mm. you, kapag nag, nagpapakita ka ng anything mm. sa sa isang yung tatlong property na yun eh. Mm. Dapat there's the, ano nga ba yung sinabi mo kanina? About, Un- unconditional positive regard. Hindi, uh, about congruence. What do you mean? Transparency? No, just, kasi sabi mo ngayon ngayon lang. Kanina. And? <laughs> ano? Siyempre hindi yun. Ano? <laughs> Responsibility, <laughs> decisiveness, congruence, time. Yun nga, kung ano yung sinasabi mo, yun din yung pinapakita mo. Oo. Diba? Uh-huh. 
So, dapat nandun din yung intention. Mm-hmm. Nandun din yung action. Mm-hmm. And, um, I can't remember the other one. Sige, babalik din yun sa akin. Sige, tuloy. Alright, pwede na ako. Kasi matatapos na ako eh, pag tinuloy ko. So, yun, babalik din yun yung coach na or comment na lang na yan, okay? So, yun. So, sabi ko nga, uh, next is, um, after that, yung consistency. So, how can you trust somebody that is not consistent with his actions? Yeah. Diba? Yung magaling lang sa umpisa, nag-away kayo ngayon, bati na kayo for one week, tapos babalik na naman. Diba? Yeah. So, you always have to be consistent. Okay? Mm-hmm. That is, or those are the prerequisites of trust. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, yun yung number 10 natin. So, as a recap, um, the essential principles for improving relationships is respect, adapt, understand, connect, dialogue, communicate well, uh, acceptance, humility, you manage your expectations, respond accordingly, and trust. So, mm-hmm. it goes two ways. It can never be one way, but it all should begin with oneself. Okay? At saka yun, yun, nakuha ko na yun. Sure ako na hindi ako nagsabi niyan. Ako. Okay. Nabasa ko. Anyways, yun nga. Uh, applicable naman ito eh, dun sa sampung sinabi ni Coach. Mm-hmm. Boy, respect, adopt, understand, connect, dialogue, acceptance, humility, manage expectations, respond accordingly, mm-hmm. and trust. Dapat, meron yung tatlong component para maging effective siya. Dapat, nandun din yung thought. Mm-hmm. Nandun din yung intention. Mm-hmm. And nandun din dapat yung action. Action. Yeah. Hindi pwedeng merong isang na may miss out doon. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kasi, oh, sige, nandun din nga yung thought. Nandun din nga yung intention. But kung hindi mo naman siya may execute ng tama or ng maayos, kung wala namang action, mm-hmm. then, wala rin. Like, for example, yun nga, yung respect, yung thought mo, I respect the person. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yung intention mo na na and that's why I'm, uh, tawag ito, I want to improve my relationship to this person kasi I respect this person. Pero, mm-hmm. kung paano man naman tratuhin, I mean, how you talk to that person, mm-hmm. how you treat him or her, mm-hmm. eh, it's not congruent then sa so kung ano yung thoughts and intentions mo, then it it's not gonna be effective. So, mm-hmm. kailangan nandu dun yung component na tatlo na yun. That nandu is... yung thought. Right. Yung or the idea, nandun yung intention, mm-hmm. your, your why, why are you doing it, and syempre, you need to act on it. That is very, very right and correct. Okay? So, yun ang gagawin natin. Um, we always have to be grounded dun sa mga bagay na kaya natin gamitin. Again, it takes practice. Mm-hmm. Wala namang nagbabago ng isang iglap lamang. But it takes yeah. practice and practice doesn't make you perfect, but it makes you permanently better. better. Okay. So again, this is our, is this our last episode for January? Yeah. yeah. This is our last episode in January. So we are going, since February is like the love month, mm-hmm. uh, we are going, are we going to, yeah, we're going to <laughs> discuss the what's the topic for February? Five languages. How? Oh, the five languages. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Or how to maintain good relationships again? No. All right. I know. How not to? How not to mess up, up your or mess up your marriage or so relationships bad. so bad. Right. So, kapag so, mess in relationships, minsan it, it, it comes talaga. Yeah. But, papano na hindi naman siya maging ganun ka okay. detrimental. And yes. Then, and this is like solely for like relationships, like romantic relationships. So, this is the love one. Pagbigyan niya na. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, how, how not, not to, to mess up your relationships so, so bad. bad. Alright. See you in February, guys. And again, uh, for those who's watching a replay, Kindly comment hashtag replay. All right, and follow me on YouTube. That's Poy Delara. Follow my page, Poy Delara. Follow the One Life page and be a member of the One Life group.
All right. Until next Saturday, thank you for watching One Life Sabado Live. I'm Coach Boy and Coach Mina. All right. Thank you. Kapit lang. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.